Hi, so I just wanted to make this quick video about uh, wearing wigs in the military. Um, I actually have a few other videos that I wanted to post. I made them like a long time ago with my Raquel Welch Savoir Faire and how I apply it and how I wear it and um, it looks really legit. I mean, it's not just for the military, but for women that are in the military with hair loss, it can be, it's not like a normal job where, you know, you can wear whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Like, you have to look professional. It needs to look realistic. Um, it also has to be one, like in my case, that I can wear on the flight line and it's not going to be considered a FOD, which is like a foreign object. Um, what is it? Foreign object? disaster I don't know but anyway so um you know it's so you don't it's not considered fought military people know what I'm talking about so you know that can be challenging so it's you know if you don't if, if I'm working on the flight line I'm near engines I cannot have a synthetic wig that'll melt or could um so you gotta get human hair but you you know so when I first okay, when I first started wearing wigs in the military I had a blonde wig from eBay and I wore that it was really thick and too blonde like people were looking at me like mm, like you know it was just I feel like it was super obvious I was still getting used to wigs it's just that awkward um, stage that everyone has to go through of getting used to wearing wigs so um, yeah it's just something that has to be done but um, I had worn, uh, so after that, I had my baby, I came back and was wearing Ignite, John Renault's Ignite. I thought that um, Ignite was going to be, like it's a short piece, it's heat defiant, so I figured, you know, that can handle engines. I wouldn't have to worry about pulling it back or getting it in my face or anything. And even though it doesn't have the mono top, um, sorry, I know I'm doing this in my car and it's weird, but what YouTube channel doesn't have a, a car video, you know? I didn't really know how else to do it. But anyways, so, um, I wore that thinking it would be all legit and everything, but people could tell mainly because of that little area. I thought maybe they would just think that my hair, you know, I got it cut because before I did have it longer and pulled back, but I thought if I had got it cut, then you know people just think that my hair was so thick you just couldn't see my scalp but no that was like a dead giveaway and one guy even said like oh well hey there little miss wig so it was just something that I had to accept I sometimes you just you you cannot life you will have less gray hair less thinning less aging on your body if you can just be open about wig wearing. It doesn't mean everywhere you go, you have to say, hear he, hear he, I'm wearing a wig. But it just means that should anyone question your hair, or should the topic of hair get up, you know, come up or whatever, you feel comfortable about saying, well, I wear wigs. Because otherwise you are, it's just, you get put on the spot and it's just not a good feeling to be in so the sooner you can just be open about it but with that being said I'm open about wigs but especially my military job that's kind of why I haven't come out of the wig closet come out of the wig closet um, on my public Facebook page just because a lot of my military people are on there and granted you by regulation women can wear wigs in the military I looked it up it has to be appropriate. Um, it says, like the regs say, you can't be hiding an unauthorized haircut. So I don't really know what that means. But, um, like, I don't know, maybe I dyed my hair pink and I'm wearing a wig. But it does say you can wear a wig in the military. But it has to be appropriate. It has to be secured properly. So that's the thing. And so when I wore, um, after I realized Ignite was way too wiggy, I saved up. I found Savoir Faire. By Raquel Welch on um, clearance 
So I got her and I loved her, but she was short. So with some of the hairs, it was hard to keep pulled back. And I just wanted to get like a bigger bun. Um, and she had a lot of silicone. Like once I had it on my head, I got used to it. But just thinking about having to put that wig on and then taking it off felt so gooey. And um, it just felt, it was a little heavier of a piece. So I had to use, you know, a good amount of like got to be glue to keep it on. Um, so, um, yeah, I just, it was, I, and I love that color. If I could get that piece in a longer color, even with that, their silk top, it was amazing. I just want that hair longer and there's just too much silicone in the back and on the sides. So that's mainly why I just decided to transition over because in the summer it gets hot you know it's and you're sweaty and you're wearing your uniform and whether you're you know it doesn't matter where you're at it either it's humid or it's dry 115 90 and all humidity it's gross and muggy and I just didn't want to be dealing with that so I got this piece so I got this from Gardo wigs this is not a Gardo wig cap I forgot the name of the cap it's like Novola no view starts with an N they have they have different caps sometimes so you just gotta look out but this wig it doesn't have a lace front um, it has a little bit of silicone like a tiny piece right there the Raquel Welch wig was like all right there all right there like a big piece in the back so it was just sweaty and gooey and I just got tired of it but this piece has a little bit there and there and like not even a, an obvious amount in the back if there is any um but i got this piece because i can incorporate this is why i don't shave my head so i have a lot of tops like this i have a lot of wigs that don't have lace fronts because i incorporate my hair and it just you know to me like sometimes the lace front in certain lighting is very obvious and with this, because I can incorporate this, like, you know, I'm going to tell you with the guy that said, oh, little miss wig, he did not think this was a wig. Nobody thinks that this is a, a, a wig. My, no one thought my Raquel Welch was either, but, um, I just, the fact that I needed to secure it with God to be glue and everything, I just got tired of that. With this, I just use a wig grip. And I'm going to tell you that I wore this wig in a ponytail because it's long, um. Let me show you how long it is. I wore this wig in a ponytail jogging the other day. I jogged like three miles and um, just with the wig grip on and this baby stayed on. So I know that I can wear her with just the wig grip for my PT test. Cause that's something else you have to think about. Like, well, is your wig, how are you gonna keep your wig secure when you do your PT test and your pushups and your sit-ups and your running? I've gone right running with wigs, but not this one. And I can't just wear a different wig for my PT test and um, I'm not I'm not just gonna go bald I'm sorry I'm not my hair is ugly it's not like I'm this cute sexy bald girl you know I have thin wispy unattractive hair it doesn't look bad when it's shaved but since I incorporate my hair up here I can't just shave it so yeah I'm not going to wear no wig when I do my PT test um, I did wear my um, Raquel Welch Sub Warfare um, shooting. I did, I qualified in my Sub Warfare and um, it stayed put. She stayed absolutely put and I even had to wear my Kevlar and it was getting hot. So um, that wasn't an issue. Um, this month, or actually next month, we're doing um, a bunch of training and I'm going to have to wear like my chem gear. And um, I'm pretty confident that this will stay put only because I've been wearing an N95 mask at my civilian job as a nurse and all that garb and this wig stayed put. So I'm pretty confident that even with the chem mask, this will stay. So if you are someone, you know, with thin hair that wants some more wigs in the military, but you are super self-conscious about it or paranoid or what have you, just know that there are wigs you can wear in the military that look legit. This one, you know, because we have to be able to pull it back, you can get shorter pieces. Shorter pieces, you know, 
are probably a little bit easier. I just, I don't want short hair. I just like long hair. I have short pieces, but I just like long hair. It makes me feel young and feminine and sexy and goddess-like and you know I've lost all my baby weight and you know I've learned how to do makeup I bought some new clothes so I want to feel sexy even if it's in my military uniform so I don't want short hair doesn't mean you can't be sexy with short hair that's not what I'm saying but for me I don't want short hair I don't feel sexy in short hair so I wear long hair um but so with that you got to be able to pull it back and if you have hair you can incorporate right here um I probably need to like trim my sideburns but you totally can I, you know the trim it in and it blends in just well or blends in you know very well and then when I have it up hopefully you can see that do you see with my hair there it blends it's really hard to do a video to see if somebody can see the back of your head um, but it's important yeah okay so it blends really well um you just make sure that the stays are bent in you have some of your hair if your hair is long enough you can clip it over the base of the wig and it will look um, like your hair that's what I do with this one it looks totally legit I have no concerns that people think this is a wig nobody bats an eye and um, I, I absolutely love it so I can now wear this wig and get my military job with a wig grip I don't use gotta be glue or anything like that so my you know everything isn't gooey I just whip this baby off and I'm done and I look professional you know I look you know I don't have to worry about looking wiggy and this stays on my head for my PT test and I had wig stay for um, qualifying my weapon and I know that it's not going to be an issue when I do my chem training so anyways I'm gonna go find those other videos of when I wore Sabo Fair and how I wore her with my out my military uniform and everything and I'll post those on my channel as well just so you have something for reference like just another way you can look at um, if you have any questions or concerns or you need someone to like you know for emotional support um, or wisdom advice whatever find me I'm on Instagram I'll add you know my my name on my on this video um, it's lady underscore lovely with a U underscore locks and find me on there DM me we'll chat you know um, you can wear wigs in the military and it's okay and um, my black sisters do it all the time so um, it's not a big deal it's you know something I get through if you want to look professional and feel you know feel good in your body and not have this thin wispy hair because honestly even when I you know with just my thin hair people are like oh your hair is thin and they'd always be looking at my hair anyway so either they're going to be looking at my hair when it's thin or they're going to be looking at it when it looks fabulous and you know the right tips and tricks you can get your wig to look realistic and you can wear it up and you can get it to stay put and it's not going to be a problem so thank you for watching and uh let me know if this was helpful and if you are in the military uh give me a shout out okay i love you know talking to other military women i've only talked to a few that are wig wearers but reach out to me. Okay, bye.